Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, if you guys wasn't with me uh, yesterday, I made some uh, caramelized onions, and that was for today's recipe. Um, it's going to be a French onion uh, stuffed shells dish. We're going to put it in oven. It's for a friend of mine, John. Call him J-Dog. But anyway, he wanted me to do this recipe, so I'm doing it for him. So uh, it's got a few ingredients. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, here's my caramelized onion from yesterday, okay? And I got this heating up in a pan. And what I'm going to do first while, while we're talking is I'm going to just dump a little bit of a, that's two, about two teaspoons or so of uh, garlic. And uh, I'm going to mix that in real quick because I want to get this going. we got to help. Ooh. <laughs> but now, nah, anyway, that smell of that... Uh, these onions is permeating the whole house. My stomach's ground. I think Penny's stomach's ground. I can hear it from here. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Okay, now this recipe has a... Uh, move this out. We already did that. Okay, so it has a few ingredients. Mostly, there's a lot of cheese in here. Anyway, this is uh, breadcrumbs. I'm using the panko breadcrumbs, and I'm going to see sprinkle a little Italian seasoning on top when we put those on there. With some dried thyme. That's one teaspoon of a tablespoon of flour. That we're going to make with the gravy with the sauce the chicken broth will be going in with the flour i got one egg i'm going to beat that up in a minute salt and pepper here mozzarella cheese here this is going to go on the top okay this here is the gruyere that's one cup of gruyere cheese that's good i like that cheese uh this is parmesan cheese grated parm that's a quarter of a cup and over here we have regatta cheese that's going to go in the whole two cups is going and then that's one third of a cup of heavy cream. And this is my parsley. We're going to chop that up and we'll put that on top. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so you guys know me normally. I don't like uh, just dumping the egg in a mix. So I'm going to beat it up first, okay? I'm going to beat that up. We don't want to go too crazy. Then we're going to get a bowl here. Okay, so now we're going to put in our Gruyere cheese. We're going to add this whole thing of uh, regatta, as it were. Tony, if you don't like cheese, that's my oven. I've got that preheating at 400. That's done. But if you guys don't like cheese, <laughs> you're not going to like this dish because there's a ton of it in there. But anyhow, then this here is going in. Okay. It, it wants two cups. Uh, so we got, I think it was 15 ounces. Close enough. <laughs> I say it's close enough. Uh, all right, let me... Uh, Mix this up a little bit. Now let me uh, mix this. I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. So anyway, now we're going to put in some of our grated up parma cheese. This is uh, fresh, by the way. I'm probably going to use the old uh, sprinkle cheese that you get in the green jar to sprinkle on top after we get done. So we're going to put some uh, a pinch or two of salt and pepper. I'm going to drop the egg in here in a minute. Salt and pepper. A little bit of thyme. You got the thyme. <laughs> if you got the thyme, we're going to give you guys a good recipe here. If you got the thyme. I'm going to mix this up. Now we're going to pour in the egg. Now you, there's no real serious mixing part here. Just uh, as long as you get them all in there and mix thoroughly, you're good. Okay, we'll mix this up. I'm 
The reason I'm doing mixing this thoroughly good right now is because I'm going to add about half of my onion mix in here, and uh, that's going to be that's going to be the stuffing or the filling for the shells, huh? Well, I might not have showed you the shells, but I got them draining in the sink. <laughs> uh, that kind of looks good. Okay, let me uh, back you up here a little bit. Uh, there's my caramelized onion. What I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to kind of split this in half. Okay. That looks about... Oh, I'll take a little more this way. Okay. So we're going to take half of this, and we're going to put this in our mix over here. It's all going to go together anyway. <laughs> okay, so we got half and half approximately. Huh? All right. Back over here. And here we're going to mix the onion and our filling together. I think I want a little more onion in there. <laughs> it just don't look right to me. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. I did say half, so I did half, but this is just going to work out. It'll be fine. So, mix this in here. Now that looks a little bit better. Give it more color. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so here's my shells. I'm going to rinse these off a little bit. I want to make sure they're, yeah, that's better. They're just about there. Cool enough to touch because I got to start, you know, stuffing these puppies. All right. Okay, this recipe, I don't know, there was a little confusion. I think they were trying to get it to where you can do all of this in one pan or pot. Uh, I split it up anyway. I wanted to do the onions yesterday because, you know, 30 to 45 minutes on onions, that would have took a long time with the video. But anyway, I got me a clean pan here, a Pyrex pan. I'm just spraying that down. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our shells in here. Open side up. Doesn't really matter at this point because we still have to stuff them. Uh, trying to get whole ones instead of pieces parts, you know. My grandmother used to do stuffed shells, <laughs> and when she did, everything went in there. <laughs> Everybody loved her stuffed shells, though. It's, but you know, they take a while to make them. Just just uh, stuffing the shells takes a few minutes, you know. So we're gonna take care of this right quick. And then, now, it, it said on the, the recipe John gave me about 20 shells or so, 15, 20, 20 or more shells, so I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and uh, I'm going to make another little section for John, because he don't eat much. <laughs> Put this one in there, and we'll load this one in. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do now is we're going to stuff these puppies. Oops, excuse me. So you uh, you don't want to totally overflow them, but you want to stuff them good, right? Because you want to be able to taste this stuff. So just stuff away. Stuff your shells to your heart's content, huh? Put that in there. We got another one of these bad boys there. I'll stuff this puppy in here. But it's going to close up again. Yep. <laughs> so 
So you really want to try to load these up. You don't want to overflow them because uh, once they start cooking, they're going to expand away anyway. Okay, so I, now you see what I'm doing. So I'm going to finish stuffing these. And when I'm, in, when I'm done with this, uh, we'll be back. Okay, guys, so you can see the laborious time I had here stuffing these shells. I got two trays. I'm going to give J. Doug this little one up here, and Penny and I will share this with whoever comes by. <laughs> okay, so let's come over here. I got my onions still going. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Because uh, what we want to do is now we're going to make a, like a gravy out of all of this. We're going to drizzle over the top of all them luscious noodles, right? So, stir this around a little bit. And we're going to take our flour. This is like making a roux almost. <laughs> going to make a gravy, put some flour in there, right? Okay, we're going to stir that around and let it heat up for... A couple of minutes just to get the rawness of the flour out of there and we're just going to make sure that everything's we don't want to see no white <laughs> when we're done only the caramelized onion <laughs> okay I just turned it up a little higher because if we're going to make a gravy, we need to have a little bit of heat going here. This is going to be nice. You, know, you got the caramelized onions and the cheese and everything stuffed in them shells. Then we're making a little bit of a, a gravy here. Oh. Well, this is going to be a nice syrupy gravy because you're putting that uh, um, heavy cream in there. I haven't made one of these in a while because, you know, normally we can't eat this, but... Penny's going to try it because she likes J-Dog, and we decided we'll make it for him, you know, even though it was a little bit of a effort, but what can you say? But these caramelized onions, they still smell delicious. Oh, can't get over how they smell. Nice. All right, let me get a cup here. Now, we're going to need about a cup and a half of liquid, give or take. These on the broth. So that there's about a cup. We're gonna go a little bit more. Now don't worry if you put too much liquid in. You just keep cooking it until it just gets into the thickness that you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm just following the recipe, and this is not bad for. Uh, I've made plenty of gravies in this. But sometimes you just keep adding a little more liquid, a little more liquid till it stops doing what it does. And what you do is just add a little bit at a time. And we're going to stir this around. And if you watch that, you're going to see it's going to start getting like a milky color. It's going to thicken up a little bit. See how the color's changing in the liquid? And we just keep stirring. I'm going to put a little bit more. This is just like making a real gravy. I mean, this is a, we're a real cooking show. You thought Emerald was good. <laughs> oh, yeah, my friends. Hey, look at this. Huh? But anyway, I think the total time for this recipe would be an hour and something, you know, when you take into consideration uh, the onions that you got to cook. That takes anywhere from... 30 to 45 minutes. I'm even upwards of an hour. I could have went longer on mine, but uh, I like the color that they were at, so I didn't want to overdo it. Now you see how this is now, how it's thickening up. This is what you're looking for. Okay, just add a little bit more. 
Now the old rule of thumb I heard a long time ago was was when it stops getting thick, that's that's the flower saying they had enough to drink, because <laughs> it, it it'll only thicken up as much moisture as the flower can absorb. So that's what makes it thick. So that's your lesson for today. I wonder what this would taste like just on a regular spaghetti. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, the caramelized onions with the gravy, that's what I'm talking about. No, no stuffed shells or just put it in the... I would have liked to add chicken to this, but uh, the powers that be instructed me, Mr. Dan, the cook, to just stick to the recipe. Don't change nothing. Okay. So guess what? We didn't change nothing, huh? All right, we're coming together just nicely. We're getting along swimmingly, huh? How about that one? You ain't heard that in a long time, huh? Mm-hmm. And you begin to wonder, is this gonna be enough for them two dishes? But you know what? We're gonna make it work. We'll be back after I get done with starting the liquid in here. Okay, all the chicken broth is in there. Now, for the Pierre of Resistance. I'll drizzle a little of this in there at a time. It's going to make a nice white cream sauce, or a light-colored cream sauce, huh? Look at this. Oh. Now we're going to let that cook a little bit. And then, my friends, we will be popping this. Well, we'll drizzle this over the top of our shells. And then, hmm, this just looks so good. <laughs> yep. All right, look at that, huh? I just had a thought. I'm going to take some of those noodles and fill in some of the gaps in that other little pan. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. But uh, anyhow, this is a, see how it's starting to steam now. I think we're going to, and it is getting a little thicker because I'm cooking this down. So but we're going to get us a ladle here. Matter of fact, I'm going to move this out of the way. Put this over here. Wipe this over here because we don't like no messes, right? This is our cup for our least of the cup of whatever that stuff was. Stuff. Alright. So we're gonna turn this this away. We're putting this over here. Alright. So we're just about there, my friends. Try this, this and see how this works. Alright, so here we go. What we're going to do is just drizzle this over the top, not going too crazy. But I got a bunch of these here shells to cover. So I'm going to do this first, like this, huh? Well, that looks pretty good. Then we'll come over here, cover these. 
And since you need about, uh, you'll get about 20 shells, you know, that you'll have to use. And that's about what I did, 20, maybe 21, 22, I don't know. It was pretty close. But I'll tell you, this is, <laughs> you can't beat this. This is uh, French onion stuffed shells, huh? Okay. That balanced out pretty well, didn't it? Okay, so now what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to hit this with a little bit of uh, salt and pepper, just a very little bit. That's just me. That's I just think we need a little bit more than what we got here, right? Okay, so that being done, now we're going to take our cheese. And we're going to sprinkle that over here. We've only got one cup of cheese to go around, so hey, don't worry. I got plenty of cheese. If I need more, we'll get it. <laughs> but one cup is not, you know, I don't think I filled this cup up anyway. I know I didn't pack it. You know, I'm so paranoid with cheese, like, you know, I got to use the right kind of cheese. Well, this time I'm using the full board cheese. I'm not going with no fat. This is getting all the all the num nums I can get. And I suppose if you like you can put uh, hot pepper flakes or something else on here. But this here, hmm, look at this. Uh, look at that balanced balanced out pretty well, huh? I know some people would probably cover this more with cheese, but I ain't got no time for that. Now this is what we're going to do. We're going to sprinkle our breadcrumbs lightly over the top. Don't want to go too crazy with them, but you want to try to get breadcrumbs on each a little bit. You know, not going crazy here. And this is one quarter cup of, I'm using panko like I said. I like it because it'll give it more crunch, I think. Just my personal opinion, it might not. But a little bit more texture, that's what I'll say. Tex how about texture? It's all about the texture, the layers of flavor, and the love you put into each and every dish. How many times I got to tell you, huh, Adrian? Oh, okay. Okay, so now we're going to just sprinkle a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning on here. Just to give it some more. Because it said to use uh, spiced or flavored uh Breadcrumbs. They didn't say what kind of flavor, so I'm going with my, because it's pasta. I figure out, I'll put a little Italian in here, huh? A little Italian for the zip. Okay. So now all I got to do now is uh, clean up some of this mess, and we're going to be popping this in the oven at 400 degrees. So let me open the oven. And this is going to cook for 20 to 25 minutes, give or take, until it's golden brown. First one in. Number two, going down. All right. Take you guys for a ride to the oven. I'll show you what. Okay, see what we got here. There you go. So we're going in for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to put this on 20. A timer. Now if I start smelling something, I'll be checking it. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Holy fuck, 24 minutes. Okay, guys, there you have it. That's 20 minutes. I'm turning it on. I got five more minutes on the timer. And I might even put it up a little bit on the, the fan air, whatever you call it thing. Okay, guys, I think we're done. I put it on speed bake for the last five minutes. Whoa, that's a lot of heat coming out of there. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at that bubbly goodness. Look at that. 
we slide you over here so you can get the other one, huh? Look at that. Is that not something of beauty? So while you guys were sleeping, <laughs> I chopped me up some parsley. And as you can see, we've got more than enough. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on here. Let's stir it. I'll tell you right now, this smells delicious. <laughs> Put some parsley on here, and the rest of this parsley is gonna go into a container until we need it next time, huh? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> and give us a little sprinkle of the old Parmesan, grated Parmesano, right on top. Well, I was gonna get the real deal, but I just, I forgot. <laughs> So that's why I'm using this. Everything else is the real deal, you know. We ain't messing around here. Okay, guys. There you have it. Give us a time to cool down, and uh, we'll be back. Definitely. Okay, guys. We just played it up, so we'll be uh, sitting down here momentarily once I get camera girl in here. Okay. We're going to taste our uh, French onion stuffed shells. Thanks to uh, John, J-Dog, this recipe is for you. And I'll tell you, it smells wonderful in here. I think it came out perfect. I bet we could have took a picture of this and put it in a cooking magazine, huh? Mmm. Oh, no. Oh, Mmm. Mm. Well, like I said, <laughs> if you don't like cheese, this dish ain't for you. If you don't, don't like caramelized onions, this ain't for you. But this is delicious. I taste everything in there. <laughs> the cheese, I topped it off with some uh, um, Parmesan sprinkled cheese. I can taste that. And I got the parsley on top. I'm just trying to cut through my cheese that I cooked in the oven. It's got a little golden brown. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is the one. This is what you, you gotta try this here dish. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. And who'd have thought my friend John, J Dog, would have come up with this, huh? Mmm. Okay, guys, anyway, I got a little bit of a mess to clean up today. So, average cooking time for this should be about an hour plus, an hour 15 minutes, hour 30. I'm going to have it in the oven. Uh, I wanted it a little more golden brown after the 25 minutes. So, I, I hit the uh, uh, speed bake, a ton of convection fan on, and it made it a lot brown real quick. So, at any rate, this is Mr. Dan saying, stay hungry, my friend. And when you do get hungry, come back and we'll give you another delicious dish just like this. And this is Mr. Dan saying, we're out.